conditions here today, down. That's right, Breen Down, only a stone's throw away from a National Trust car park. This trig bag qualifies from a walk from a National Trust car park up to the trig point on Breen Down. I uh, chose this today because the weather is a little bit off and inland you can't really see anything. Thought there might be an opportunity to come here, see a bit further. That's handy. We're going to that way. We're actually going to walk around that way. And I believe the trig point is around here. So today's walk is 2.75 miles. And OS Maps is telling me I should do it in one minute, 20, no, one minute. Jesus, not that good. One hour, 21 minutes. Well, I've heard of Treasure Island. But um, this is a bit ridiculous. You could have your very own treasure chest. Hmm. Oh well. Maybe at one time Breen was a smuggler's paradise. Kit wise today, just got me a little waterproof. There may be a bit of drizzle. I've got my hat on because it is a little bit breezy, especially when we get up to these parts. Sunglasses aren't required today. It's a bit of a shame, so we're going up here. I don't think uh, the camera shows how steep it is. Already reached, not the top. It does give you a different perspective where you've got Western Supermare and there's a pier in the distance. So yeah, fortunately, a bit of sea fog. Bit of dung, so that means there's some cows or something up here. Um, Wildlife-wise, I'm not sure what we'll see. So Breen Down served as a place where the military put some strategic defences. You've got remnants of that here, like gun installations. Further down, there's Breen Down Fort, which has a bit more history about it. Here comes the drizzle, the dreaded drizzle. So Breen Down itself has been owned by the National Trust since 2002. They paid 431,000 for it. Build yourself a little house, live in the old fort. It's not a bad price, really. The fort was a location for filming for the exterior scenes of the Royal Marines attack on villains of the Cragfest Island in episode six of the 1987 HTV series, The Doom Belt Chase. Never heard of it. So this was built across the channel to protect the approaches to Bristol and Cardiff. It's called, it's part of the Palmerston Forts. And the Royal Commission under the direction of Lord Palmerston, decided to fortify it. Free to get in. Good old National Trust. So it basically sits on about four acres of land. And it was requisitioned in 1862, with construction beginning in 1864, and it took about seven years to build. The fort was armed with seven inch, 18 centimetres for all you metrics out there, 18 centimetre rifled guns. This particular part, you can clearly see where the gun was placed on there. And these are all the, I presume where they put the shells ready for firing or something. And you get a good perspective here and you can basically walk about in any of these structures I've even been and climbed across the rocks got into that building before now but um, today's not the day to do it 
Yeah, it's interesting. You can read a lot more about it, but basically I don't think it was ever used as a lot of these things were never required. I don't think any Navy or anybody else managed to get down the Bristol Channel. Our next part of the walk takes us up that ridge and hopefully over there, I'll find a trig point. Yeah, look at that, I don't wanna get in that, big currents. I mean, this bit speaks. It's crying out for a urinal. I might need to go again. I won't. I'm a National Trust paid up member now. So at the far end, you get the best view, steep home. And apparently, you can get a boat trip out to steep home. Obviously with the tide being as it is, it's every 12 hours. But it has got a trig point on it. Right, let's get up that hill. As Kate Bush more eloquently put it. Oh, I say, this offers a bit of respite from the wind. I could have a little coffee shop here. So you can see the other side of Somerset there. Yeah, you've got Hinkley Point over there, but the nicer end of Somerset that way towards Porlock Way. And I've never noticed that before. Ouch. I haven't seen any animals. No nature. Look at these trees. They've stood the test of time. Almost bent at 90 degrees. Get in there. Because Marconi first tested his method of wireless transmission from the fort down there over to flat home and eventually onto Wales. It's the first time a radio transmission had been sent across a body of water. Dennis's historical micro lesson done for the day. Oh, and here on the horizon, I can see the Breen Down Trig Point. That's not a bad view, considering we haven't really got great weather. Hey ho. Look at that. Another one down. I like that. I just made that up. I haven't even worked on that. Well, I've been down here and that's another trig in the bag. Viewpoint, well visibility wise, you can see quite a distance up here, although not just today. Discovery index, well, it's very easy. Easy to get to, in fact, the walk and the path take you right across to the trig point. Visibility, it's easy to see. The condition of it, well, it's a bit worn out, but it is probably in the most exposed place that you could get a trig point, apart from steep home. So access to get here is a uh, very easy, like I say, National Trust car park, walk up, it's all accessible, owned by the National Trust, so that's great. Yeah, it's probably one of the best walks. Easy to do. Picnic ability. Well, on a nice day, this is absolutely gorgeous. And I have been here on a nice day. You can sit out. It's probably one of the best places for picnic ability, I think. Picnic now. I'll have it uh, just on this ridge here. Why do you think salmon has declined in Scotland? Because they don't like Nicola Sturgeon. Mm. Uh, I can see the car park now. Don't go down that bit. No fences around here. Left up to your own devices. No nature. And then we find out we've got mountain goats. There they are, look. Ha! Who'd have thought that? Just fooling around. 
on the edge of a cliff. Glad there's no young ones up there. Don't want any kidding around. Some steps. Different way down. Off we pop. That's it. The walk is done. Yeah, keep your dog on the lead. Cattle are returning the, to the down. They're already there. There's enough shit there to keep your garden going all summer. Back at the van. Oh, oh look. The beer fairy's been. Beaker, oh yes. Yeah. Very good walk. I think I deserve this. So just to add to the walk criteria, I think I'll add physicality. Some walks are easier than others, but as these trig points are up the hills, some of them are going to be more difficult. But if you have got anything else that you think I can walk up, especially this time of year, then uh, let me know. Until the next trig point, be seeing you. I need another pee now. <laughs>